All right, so we are back. I got my money. I am the Canadians. I'm ready to rule the roost. End of turn. All right, let's see where we're going to head northeast. And I have my militia. Nothing doing. Let me get some irrigation. I think he's only going to do a few things. Hey, the Aztecs. Let's see what they are up to. Moctezuma. Not giving you the wheel. I'll accept your peace proposal for now. Welcome, peace. He usually follows me, so I'm going to see if he follows me. Usually the AI will follow the direction that your people go, assuming that you're going to go back to your home. I don't really want him to do that. He didn't follow me, though. I'm assuming he's southeast of where I am right now made my irrigation it's an interesting name maybe he's to the north actually if you, it's not that much maybe not for a second i thought there wasn't enough room there definitely is room so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build my next city I think, I think I'm going to build it here. I'm going to build it there. Hello again. Moctezuma of the Aztecs. Montezuma. I've seen his name spelled with a C. And I think he's Montezuma the second, if we're being historically accurate. I'm not giving you a wheel. You have a wheel right there. Okay. He's still not following me. Usually he does. So I'm going to explain why, why I'm going to build my city right there. A little close to my home city, but I think this is going to be good enough. I think we're peace and at peace enough with the Aztecs that I don't think he'll invade me. If not, I'll just go up there just in case. I'm going to build my city. Toronto. I haven't built the bronze working, so I can't defend it with a great unit. Now, my theory is that he's going to be the closest. I mean, obviously, he's the closest AI to me. Close to get that trade, but I want bronze working. I think I didn't know there was going to be someone this close to me. See, I have code of laws and writing. I think would get trade, but I'm going to have to defend myself first. If they weren't that close, I would have done something else. Babylonian, so, ooh, so they are an aggressive civilization as well. So I wonder if they're up here. I have a, I have a, a hypothesis to why they're up here. Oh, I got my chariot. I 
again, I'm going to build some settlers because my primary goal is not attacking the Aztecs. My primary goal is building cities. At least early game. And that, what um, low level AI likes to do at this stage of the game is they like to fortify units outside of cities. Which is annoying, but it doesn't doesn't really become a problem. It's not like he's gonna attack me with a with a militia. I don't think. We waste resources and time and he's really just leaving me there to keep an eye on me. Make sure I don't do anything stupid. But I will do something stupid. That's an inevitability. Of course, Toronto in the middle of a desert. Oh, an advanced tribe. Quebec. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Americans of Canada. Uh, well, I don't want people to come up to my hut on the dirt and make it all dirty. There we go. Now they won't have dirty feet coming into my hut. Quebec. Let's hope that. I really think he's up here. People out there are saying, no, he's not. He's to the southeast. I don't think he is. I think that he was just sending a, an explorer. I think he's up here somewhere. I think he's up here. And he was sending his explorer south, and we just happened to bump into each other. Ooh, I was wrong. Unless this is where the Babylonians are. The reason why I think that is um, there's no city here, but there was some... There was a city here. Mm. It's my hypothesis. Is he, I think he's up here. Ooh, okay. Welcome to 1991. And Steam didn't exist. So you weren't buying your, your games wholesale off the internet. In 1991, by and large, the internet didn't exist for us for us humans for us lay people um so or at least the world wide web for sure so you had uh a, a case of lots of people making copies of games and trying to sell them like they do with, with going to the movie theaters and and videotaping the movies that you are trying to see so what they do is they try to Copy protect to make sure you can't copy the game. So what what I did is I went on to a wonderful wiki, civilizationfandom.com, and I, I found a list of all of the advances in Civilization 1. I believe this is metallurgy. So I'm going to look it up on my on my I actually printed it out like an old person. So I'm gonna turn the pages. And metallurgy is gunpowder and the university. That doesn't necessarily make sense to me. The gunpowder, yes, but I'm I'm thinking they knew how to melt metal well before they invented gunpowder. I mean that's what bronze working is. Here when speaking of bronze working, see this is metallurgy in but it's, I guess it's a fancier metallurgy. Phalanx. That is very valuable. All right, so back to my trade. I believe that trade, since I have my packet open, I think trade is code of laws and writing. It is currency and code of laws. So I need these two for trade. 
Currency will give me a marketplace, so I'll do that one first. That'll help me. So Ottawa is building a settler. That's good. Toronto. I think I'm going to build a phalanx. And then uh, a settler. Where are you, Mr. Tenochtitlan? Where are you? See, the more you know about your opponent, the better you're going to be if you come to battle. I think now I'll go into settlers. Now I'm a little bit better off. I don't know if he knows bronze working. If he does, that'll make the game a little bit more even between the two. Let's see. What's my uh, science rate? My science rate currently is 50% tax, 50% science. Of all of the money that I collect from my 100,000 population, half of it's going to go to me, and half of it's going to learn things. And you can tell that. So... So I have three, so I, the best way for me to explain that is here. I have three, one, two, three, trade. So you see here, two will go to me, and one will go to science. So if I wanted more science, I don't think I could, not here at least. Ah, so why did I select this place for a city? Well, two, two reasons. One, for production, I could mine this oil part here and get some really good production. And then also, um, Oasi, Oasis's, Oasis's, the Galliers over here, um, are great for food as long as I irrigate them. Um, so even though I'm in the desert, those will be good for food. And of course, the river here is good for food as well. And just being naturally close to the capital city means I won't see any corruption. Um, although you don't usually see a lot of corruption early in the game, even on the highest of difficulties. Let's see. I think I'm still going to go with the chariot. Can I buy him? I could, but that will leave me a little bit less money. I'm going to let him go for right now. I don't see I don't see Mr. Aztecs as being aggressive enough to try and get me. So I'm gonna actually keep that guy close by just just in case. Just in case. Well, normally it doesn't let you go. You, normally he would block these two spots. I think the only reason why it let me move bishop direction diagonally. Um, is because I was in a city. Normally, if uh, if there's a position, uh, a, an, a, an enemy or a friend that is a different civilization to your northeast southwest, it'll block the northeast and southeast uh, movement. But because I was in a city and I was leaving the city, I think it allows me to do that. But um, I'll show you. I'll show you later. I don't think it'll let me move southeast because I'm not going into or out of a city. I'll show you. So I'm going to try to move southeast, and I bet you it's going to say, you can't go that way. Ah, hear that sound? That's saying that I can't go there. Basically, this, this piece, this militia unit, is prohibiting me from going to the southeast. It will let me go north or southwest, because that's going into a city. And I bet you I can't go... I think that's the only place that they're going to forgive me, forbid me to go. So I'm going to still go up. Where are you, Tenochtitlan? Tenochtitlan. Ottawa builds settlers. Wonderful. I'm going to build a granary now. Beginning game, you want to have big cities. Uh, or I'm sorry, you want to have granaries and produce as many settler units as possible. 